friends welcome to one little coder in this streamlit tutorial we're going to learn how to add a download button on your streamlit application one of the popular requests that i've received until today on streamlit application is how can you add a download button when you click it it's going to download some file that you have generated during your streamlit application for example i've got this popular tutorial which helps you extract tables from the pdf that you upload for example let me quickly show you i've got a pdf called input pdf and when i add input pdf here it's generating a pdf like it extracts the table from it and then can you add a download csv button where you can click this and then it's going to download a csv file and then you can see the csv file that is the request that people have already like constantly asked me and in this tutorial i'm going to show you actually this is quite simple so when you see how to do this you might be even shocked to know that this is so simple that um you know it it was not obvious the reason it was this uh, option that we are going to see today is called a download button from streamlit this was newly introduced earlier people used to do a lot of hack around it but nowadays you have got a download button and you can easily implement this if you do not know anything about this application i would strongly recommend you to first watch this tutorial which i'll link it in the youtube description where you can learn how to build a streamlit application that looks like this you have got file upload facility you've got table reading using camelot and then um, we have a data frame at this point so let me quickly show you the code so the code looks like this like i'm not going to explain you the rest of the code what the situation we are in at this point is we have got a data frame we have got an output data frame that we want to display and then we want to add the download button so how do you display a data frame so it's quite simple you simply use st which is the alias in which you have imported streamlit st dot data frame and then the data frame so at this point you can see that i've got a data frame here and then you can just take this data frame object put it inside a street or data frame and it is going to display the data frame just like this this is what you got here so now the main thing that we want to do is we want to add a download button as simple as that so how do we add a download button like i said it is quite simple all you have to do is st which is the alias with which you imported streamlit st dot download underscore button now you have to give the label with which you want the button should be called um, whatever you want to download file download csv whatever you want to do next thing is you need to take this data frame and then convert into a text format which is what we're doing here we're taking this data frame which is a pandas data frame object at this point and we are doing two underscore csv without giving any output file so it's going to print the content of this data frame as a text file like text content why it is important it is important because your csv file is basically a text file so for you to add the download button you need a text object an object that is text like string so that you can use this option and then download it using streamlit download button so it's important that this should be with two underscore csv if you are going to do or if you are going to build a csv as part of your web application then you know it may not be entirely relevant but if you have a pandas data frame this is the step where you convert the pandas data frame into a text object and then you download the text object and uh, what is the text object in this case it's a it's a simple csv file that has got rows and columns and commas it's, that's what you would see next you have to define the type in which um, the object is uh, displayed or downloaded what is a object type it's more like a meta information that will tell the browser what kind of extension that they use they should use when you download the file uh, so for example in this case when you download this when you click download button you would automatically see that it is going to be a csv file let me quickly show you um for example i can say instead of download csv i can say download csv file and then i can come back here read on this application you can see download csv file click this button you can see that it is it has automatically generated a name and then once i click save you can see that it has it has saved the file it has saved the file let's say i don't want to i don't want it to automatically generate the name i want the same name all the time this is quite helpful if you have automation projects where uh, you want to take information uh, like you want to say override the same file 
then you can say file name equals um, I can say output table dot CSV and then I can say comma and then save it go back here rerun it you can see click download CSV and now you have got the file name output underscore table dot CSV so these are like certain options that you can do to customize the the customize the file name and also you can play with mime option depending upon what kind of object that you are trying to download this is explicitly saying it is a csv because we have got a pandas data frame we want to download the pandas data frame using download button but let's say you've got an image you've got a pdf you've got a different content you have different ways you can download it and also you have different strategy like different options through which you can do this download for example instead of this you can also say with okay the file name like for example i can say with um output table dot csv and then i can i can you know now um i can do the download so i've got different options i would definitely link the do documentation in the youtube description that you should check it out but the simplest way for you to implement a download button is this you've got a uh, you've got the data frame you can display the data frame like this and then simply download the data frame. The first one is the name, uh, the label that is written on the um, button. The second one is the content, actual text content that goes inside the CSV file. And the third one is the file name, like file name. And the fourth one is MIME that tells the operating system or browser what kind of file object that we are dealing with. When you do this thing, ideally you should be able to download the CSV file that is generated during the course of this code, like course of this app. In our case, what we have done is we have read the PDF file, extract a table from it, and that table is now stored as a pandas file, uh, pandas object within the Python session. And now we have tried to download the pandas object or pandas data frame into a CSV file. And this ideally completes the entire workflow like PDF to CSV. And you can change the MIME type for different type of objects. I hope this was clear. Uh, I'll link this code in the YouTube description and I'll also link the entire tutorial of um, uh, using Camelot to extract table from PDF in the YouTube description. Please check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you stay safe. Take care. Peace.